donors of the late congressman are instead backing his former congressional aide to serve the remainder of his term. Now, Cummings died suddenly back in October. 32 candidates have filed to replace him, including his widow and longtime friend. WJC is live. Political reporter Pat Warren has more on this complicated campaign. Pat. Well, as we all probably know, it's not unusual for friends and families to divide over political preferences, but this is further complicated by the wide field of candidates in this race. Elijah Cummings' daughters Jennifer and Adia were joined by former presidents and current leaders in tribute to their father. In her tribute at her father's funeral, Adia Cummings asked his staff to stand and be recognized. Uh, I just want to personally thank all of you. The way that you loved my father makes us family forever. And it's from that staff they have chosen to endorse longtime congressional aide Harry Spikes, seen here volunteering at the Ed Reed Turkey Day, who also spoke at the funeral. The congressman once told me that a true leader shares leadership. Harry Spikes, who ran an unsuccessful race for delegate in 2014, will face Cummings' widow Maya Rocky Moore Cummings in the February primary. Also in contention, former 7th District Congressman and longtime friend of Cummings, Kwaisi Mfume, political expert Todd Everly. And at the top of this is Kwasi and Fume, who held the seat in the past, and Maya Rocky Moore Cummings, uh, Elijah Cummings' uh, widow. And then in the second tier, you have uh, Harry Spikes, who, of course, worked for Elijah Cummings for quite some time. In a statement endorsing Spikes, Jennifer Cummings writes, Harry knows this community. Our father often said of himself that he was an ordinary man called to an extraordinary mission, and Harry embodies that same spirit. Spikes worked for Cummings for 15 years. Others of note in the race, Baltimore Delegate Talmadge Branch, Howard County Delegate Terry Hill, Baltimore County Delegate Jay Jalisi, and Baltimore State Senator Jill Carter. Now, there are 24 Democrats and eight Republicans in this race. The 7th Congressional District consists of parts of Baltimore City, Baltimore County, and Howard Counties, and those are the voters who will make the decision. I'm Pat Warren reporting live for WJZ.